Hello. Welcome to another video from the channel. I'm bringing my 2.5D animation workflow. In this video I'll show you some tips for retouching renders rendered in Blender using Clip Studio Paint. First of all we have to create a new animation file. With 1920 by 1080 resolution. I will not be using the white layer. The first layer that comes I won't use either. Now I'm going to import all the rendered designs from Blender. In the case of those in those two folders. Just drag to the layers. Do not drag to this area that I highlighted in red. Because it will be opening the image instead of importing. With all the imported images, I will add it to the timeline. Just to clear up some doubts, it is possible to do this process in other software, such as Krita and Photoshop. It doesn't necessarily have to be Clip Studio Paint. Let's go to Animation, Edit Track, Batch Specify Cells. In this window, go to, Specify Name of Existing Animation Cell. Let's put from Image 1 to the last of the rendered sequence. In the rest, we did not change anything for the sequence. With that we have all the frames on the timeline. Now I will be creating a new animation folder. To import the frames that make up the second stage of the transformation. The procedure for adding frames to the timeline is the same. As you can see, I forgot to increase the timeline time. Because of this, not all the paintings fit.
After increasing the timeline time and adding all the frames to the timeline again, I will be editing. For this I made a division and excludes the part that will not be used. The catcher unfortunately did not capture the time that I split the bar. By selecting the bar and clicking on it with the right button, several options for editing appear. How to cut, join, delete, we can even modify the picture. What I'm going to do now is, eliminate all the frames that repeat and replace with just one. Now, I've added a new animation layer, and I'll be doing retouching. Unfortunately Blender does not render perfect. Both in freestyle and for solidifying, the contour fails. I'll be doing all the necessary finishing touches.
Every time we advance to the next frame, we need to create a new frame to draw on. I will also remove the trace from the mouth, as it is in the anime version next to it. Out of curiosity I configured a hotkey to advance frame by frame. We can customize the shortcut keys according to our taste. There are some points where, in addition to not having the line, one color invaded the other. Therein lies the importance of my rendering without anti-aliasing. So I can easily paint areas that need touch up, or change color. Now I will be drawing certain parts that it was not possible to reproduce in 3D. I still haven't managed to make the movement of the 3D hair look the same as the 2D one. As much as I try to stretch the bone to stretch, and smooth to round, it always looks square. or you end up with some bugs, spot stained black.
see how much more interesting it becomes if we merge 2D with 3D. Just to inform you, in this part of the video I'm using my pen display. You can see that I use less control plus Z, XD. I didn't think it was much easier to draw on a pen display.
render the new frames, go to File, Export Animation, Image Sequence. In this window we can name the sequence, define the time and the output folder, among other things. I will not change anything, just give OK to start the export. The export may take depending on the performance of the computer, up to the number of frames to be exported. In the output folder, we already have some rendered frames. Export completed. We already have all the new frames rendered. I will be moving to a new folder. With this step complete, the next step is After Effects. This will be for the next video. I hope you enjoyed this video. Thanks for watching, and I'm waiting for you in the next video.